Watch your lads. Welcome to Oak Swamp and the build of the Austin 10 Rat. Thank you so much for subscribing and commenting last week. Awesome, love it, keep them coming. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so because there's loads of good stuff coming up. Hope you're all well and ready for this week's episode. Where were we? Front brakes. So my idea of fitting this universal joint off the Citroen isn't gonna work. Now it needs to run in the axis of the kingpin, but that will put it right on the brake drum. There'd be way too much fabrication and modification on this back plate, so I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna go with cables. Right, so this clutch, I made a new rod up, made it a bit more accurate this time, and I welded a bolt to it so I could clamp it to the bracket I made the other day. And she's well on there now. There she goes. It's pretty easy to push with my hands, so I think that's probably going to be it. There's not a great deal of, not a great deal of movement on it, but I think I think the old Austin Ten's only had a tiny bit of movement anyway. But I'm happy with that. What I'm going to go on to now, if you look at these leaf springs, you see this isn't as wide as up there. It gets wider up there. This actually follows this edge perfect but this comes out slightly so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna slice these leaf springs down so they come narrower just on the on the return here then I'm gonna curve all the edges all right so that's about the line there right there you go that looks better that's what it did look like I went up on a mountain go raise me a little cane Get me a barrel of sugar up to sweeten Liza Jane. I got a big home and a bed, gonna feed him all. All I need is a pretty little girl, feed him when I'm gone. So I'll set this tank up, and that's where it's gonna go. Now I'm gonna have to chop the ends off of this, roll a new bit and dig it up. But for the minute, that'll do. But I wanna make this bolt on. So that just adds a little bit of interestingness to it. So I robbed the Frosty's box. <laughs> all the cereal's indoors now. Are just in bags, there's no boxes left. Black clouds are rising, sure it's time to rain. Get that old grape on it on, little eyes of Jane. I got a pig home and a pen, call to feed him on. All I need is a pretty little girl to feed him when I'm gone. All right, so that's the basic idea. And that's going to sit in kind of like that somewhere. At this point, I could honestly say I could do with a plasma car. Throw some holes in this, it's too heavy. I'm not sure I can make drilling interesting anymore. And I've got to drill the holes in the shaft here. Run, girly, run, girly, don't make a sound. Can't stop the hole, I'm a spade in the ground. Gonna spit you out by my own blood now. Little girly, you'll be gagged up. Gee, where were they? Oh, 
old array of teeth missing. Who'd like me sell? Well, that's as far as I can go with the old. Now I'm going to tidy up these curves. go this is what I've done you can see it's got quite a bit of support next job is to cut some free metal and roll it round here and, and on top of that would go some sort of lever or rubber to protect the tank A nice sexy double curve going down there. That'd be a nice easy one to weld up and you won't even know it's welded. Now these brackets, before I make them, what I usually do is sketch them out so I can see what they look like. Those tank brackets, for example, is the picture I did, and I did this quite a while ago, but you can see it's pretty much like it was. Now talking of pictures, you might have noticed this week's cover photo was a drawing. And there it is. This was done by a guy called Stefan, who's a fellow YouTuber, and he kindly drew it and sent me it. And this was his interpretation of how he thought the Austin might look. I think he's got it pretty darn bang on, look, it's even got me in there, look, and I'm tearing it up, there's stuff flying everywhere. But I'd like to say a big thanks to Stefan. Now when you finish watching this video, pop over and see him, there's a link in the description. He does drawings of loads of different old cars and different stuff, and he's got the greatest voice I'm going to rob the frog, I'm going to rob the frog. Right, so I took most of the pedals off. And now, I know this is sacrilege, but I'm cutting that, that end off there. So you join me back up at Ben's, and I've just taken the rod out I made. The dodgy rod, which was holding the clutch. That's what we got. So we got to copy this and make a like nice, neat and tidy version of that. Find a nice bit of bar, and then we got to find that thread in there. That's BSF, and that does kind of look. Oh, no, that's. I I feel, no, it feels good, man. Yeah, she's in there like swimwear. So that is a. Yeah, it's no good me looking at it. I can't see a bloody thing. <laughs> Hey, you look at it, you're a young mush. I can't see either. <laughs> so what else are we going to do? Uh, I'm just going to try and attack some of this welding on this uh, framework here. There's loads of it to do, so... <laughs> what, what are you going to take, Mig? Um, I could take some of it and make the hard to access bit. Oh, that pain burns my soul. Well, I don't mind if it's snow. Well, have me a snow. Now, that hole in that end is going to have a thread in it, and then Ben's just about to knock another hole into here, and he's going to have a thread in. What are you doing there, Ben? Trying to turn the hole, I'm going to adjust the big span. So we got thread in this end as well. So when I put that bracket back on, we just put a bolt through there and that's all bang on the money. Right, so we're gonna have a little bit of a redesign on the clutch. I took this bit off the frog earlier and this piece and it was part of its clutch mechanism. Now we're gonna adapt the clutch pedal now, what I want to get away from is just having straight bars and having a thread because the thread will make it adjustable and I can take up any free play. So what we're going to do is we're going to straighten this one out and then here go on there 
and then the other end of him is like that and here go into this piece that's a girl you're going to work <laughs> aren't you <laughs> it give you a swivelly end and a straight bar with adjustment so that's what we're going to try and do eh oh, that So this one's a bit Great. more interesting. We want to straighten this one right out, and you can see he's got a pretty big curve on him, isn't he? Look, that voice is nice and warm on this chilly evening. Time to lose this bugger. Well, it's 3 a.m. again. It's late. We're not even going to do McDonald's this week. But... <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Ben. You're a fucking, well, you're a diamond man. Right, I'm going home now, and so is he. He's got to go to work tomorrow, yeah. and I've got to edit this video, so see you later.